Hello everyone, welcome back to Mad About Cards and Crafts and another crafty collaboration with my friend Kathy Aranzana. Today we're talking slimline dies in 12 by 12 paper. I'm sharing this Bow Bunny Secret Garden paper pad. I will be using Pink Fresh Studio Slimline Stitched Scallop Circle Die. Say that fast five times. I will be cutting my paper down to 8 by 9 and scoring at the 4 inch line. Then I will cut that panel out and um, that is going to be the same size as my card base, so 4 by 9. This will fit into a number 10 envelope. I choose number 10 envelopes as opposed to number 9s and um, I just really love these dies and I'm sorry about that focus thing. I'm trying to figure out the issue. I thought I had it figured out but it's still creeping up every now and then. So here is that first sheet of 12 by 12 paper, the beautiful um, violet floral, maybe that's like a purple blue. But anyway, whatever color it is, I have cut it down to 4x9 as I have said and I am using my tape runner to adhere it to my card base. I have cut the card base out of Nina 110 pound card stock and per usual I'm just trying to line it up. Now I am going to be coloring up the fairy garden from Hello Bluebird using my Zig uh, real brush markers and I am not doing any fancy coloring. I am just laying down some color using a silver brush. I believe that's a number four and some water and spreading it out. So what I do is um, as I've done several times before is I just take it and I outline a small area and then I draw that water out or that paint out with water. Now I do have to the side my very dirty microfiber cloth that needs to be cleaned. Uh, I will put my brush in the water and then I will try to take a good portion of that water off the brush just by rolling it, not so much um, wiping it but I just roll it over the brush and let that loose water out and then I go to my paper. So I purchased these particular um, fairies which I absolutely adore from my, my friend Kelly over at Seven Kids Crafts. She carries a lot of really nice product lines. If you are a paper lover, a 12 by 12 paper, she carries um, both the Minte in the 12 by 12 and the 6 by 6, which is absolutely gorgeous paper. And she also carries Penny Black and Hello Bluebird, MFT, um, she just she has a really good selection of products and so I am going to link her in the box below and I would highly encourage you to head to her um, website. I would also like to note that she's really good at like holidays. She offers sales like no other so please check out her shop and um, I hope, I hope that you give her a try. She has really fast shipping and is just a fabulous human being. So back to my coloring. I am using um, some deep violet, light violet, and violet to color these fairies. I'm trying to keep the colors within the shades that I'm using. I'm going to um, I sped this up quite a bit just because I didn't want to draw out the coloring, but I did want to have some time to talk about slimline dyes and why they may be right for you. So I have a Silhouette Cameo 2, and I should say I had a Silhouette Cameo 2. I happen to have bought... Um, a machine that was on sale at Amazon because somebody had sent it back and it was 
refurbished and obviously it was at a much lower price. I had the one but there was a piece that broke and so I ended up getting the replacement part. Silhouette was really good about just sending that to me and then I um, have it at my other house. So this too, I went to use it to start cutting out some slimline dies and it wasn't working and I tried and tried and the machine basically was was dead and I really hadn't used it all that much so um, I decided that I really wanted to buy the slimline dies when I saw the ones from Pink Fresh Studio I have another one from LDRS which I love as well but the ones from Pink Fresh Studio really spoke to me because they had different patterns they have edgers um, I'm going to link them below. You need to go over there. A lot of their stuff is out of stock right now, but they are just a fantastic line of slim lines. And I have a ton of 12 by 12 paper. And so the reason that I thought that slim lines were good for me was because it was a great way for me to use some of that paper up. And I didn't want to get rid of it because, as you could see, it's absolutely beautiful paper. It was just too big for a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card, and it fits nicely. Um, the patterns are not too large, I don't think, for my slimline cards. Also, the other reason is that I can do better scene building on it. So if I were to turn it horizontally as opposed to the vertical way that I used it today I would be able to use all of those small little images that are not too tall and will fit nicely across the whole um, panel and it would create a beautiful scene and I could use a lot more of my images and then the other reason is that you know it doesn't cost any more for postage so why not if you have a die cutting or a cutting machine such as a Cameo, a Cricut, you know, I can understand that you can get those images off of uh, whatever your, your software is and you can download that. But if you don't have them, I really think that it's a great purchase, especially if you have a lot of 12 by 12 paper like I do. And you're gonna see at the end of this video, I ended up getting a Cameo 4 because I was looking at some, a company came out with some slimline envelope dies. And of course they sell slimline envelopes. Um, let me get back to the card real quick. I'm using this tape from Amazon, which I have absolutely loved until the past couple of weeks. And you can see I put my my tape on there, and it curled my paper. And so I'm thinking that, I don't know, I think that I need to figure out a different way to lay this down because look at how bad that is. And I did end up getting a little bit of a crease in the paper. You could see that. Um, in that picture, but um, I end up covering that up so it was no big deal. But if you buy that tape, be really careful because on those long cards, it really curled it up. Now this is some Nuvo paste, and you can see it's the, I think it's called the Moon Glow. It is starting to, uh, I'm getting to the bottom of my jar, but I have a Ranger brush that came with my, I think my Perfect Pearls or something, and I really like to use it to, uh, instead of like a Wink of Stella or a Nuvo um, pen, because I get much better glimmer from it. And so I just take it, I dip my brush in water, I paint it onto my fairy wings, and then I... Um, wash my brush really well so I don't get it will stick your your brush will get really sticky and will get hard if you don't go wash it really quickly so I did go wash it really quickly so here um, I'm starting to put my card together and I'm sorry I'm trying to I don't end up keeping it in in frame because I'm forgetting that I'm using a slimline card. So um, the top portion you're not going to be able to see that well. I needed a couple more flowers and so I went ahead and cut some out 
and am coloring them in because I am going to frame that top scallop with those flowers. And I thought that all of the flowers and the fairies, I thought that they really matched nicely with this line. I did cut, obviously, that panel um, out on top, the stitch scallop, using my Pink Fresh Studio die. And I absolutely love how um, keeping my card at 4x9 gives me that really nice border to give that peekaboo. So I'm just going to be gluing everything down. You can see that I'm adding some dimension to some of those fairies because um, the panel is popped up and the middle of the circles are not. So obviously I need to make sure that they're even. And then I'm going to come in with another Hello Bluebird dot, uh, stamp set. Sorry, it's called Storybook Friends and I'm going to use that sentiment and some wow embossing powder to emboss it. But um, anyway, I decided that I wanted to get another cameo because I was looking at the price of the dies for the envelopes and they were $45. And I had some Amazon points and was able to purchase just the cameo for. I didn't want any of the other extra vinyl and all that other stuff. I just wanted the machine. So with all of my points and stuff, I got it for $80. And I thought that that was a much better buy than for me to invest in a pair or a set of slimline envelope dies or even to purchase envelopes. So I am using up more of my 12 by 12 paper. I have some very inexpensive Hobby Lobby paper that is super thin but it is um, good enough for me to make an envelope from. So I will go over to my machine and I will cut out an envelope and glue it together so that I have one that matches this. So I'm trying to figure out where exactly I want that sentiment to go. And you guys, I have a paper trimmer with lines, but I don't know about you. Some people really are good at getting everything straight and they have, I mean, they make it look easy peasy. And I always feel like mine is a little bit wonky in some way. I don't know if it was I don't know what it was, but I just always feel like I'm a little bit wonky, not quite as perfect as it should be, but I'm going to go with it anyway and place it on my, I needed to lift up that piece so I could get it underneath, but place it on my panel and that will be my sentiment. And I was looking at the card and um, I sent a picture to my friend Kathy and asked her, you know, do you think that I should put sequins? And she thought that sequins would be a good fit for these cards, for this card. So I am using some pretty pink posh sweet pea um, sequins and I am going to add those. I am going to uh, show you a quick peek of the cut out envelope and how I folded it and um, that will be my card. I hope that if you are a new subscriber that you are enjoying the content on my channel. If you haven't subscribed, I would love for you to subscribe. Ring the bell to get notified when I do upload another video. Um, likes are super helpful. It helps my videos get out into the YouTube world as suggested videos and comments. Obviously, I love interacting with you and I'm so, so appreciative of the positive feedback on many of my recent videos that I've received and just the support from this community. I hope that you will go over and check out Kathy's, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Kathy's content, her video, and um, please like and subscribe if you're not a subscriber of hers as well. There was a little bit of white space that came, that paper is only single sided and I am going to, I cut some of it off but I'm actually going to take some um, ink and clean that up. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the project. Have a great day. See you next time.